welcome to another episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Epe West, reaching your life and direct from the heart of Africa. If this is your first time on the channel, you are highly welcome. This is the place where we separate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstition, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to do a very simple, effective mirror spell for return to sender. Okay, ancient people have been known to use mirror to reflect back spiritual attacks and negative vibrations. Okay, so today I'll be teaching you guys how to do show stats with uh, a mirror. What I use is pairs for is that uh, from time to time you can have people that don't like you, people that hate you. Or maybe people that uh, feel you are in competition with them and uh, they might know one or two things about metaphysics about spirituality hex and spell or causes they might want to send something to you to destroy your business affect your life cause problems or cause disruptions in your everyday flow of activities so what we can do about those cases is that we can use a simple mirror like this to reflect back that negative energy to them so it can be that they know what they are doing or they don't know what they are doing it can be that uh, they are unconsciously sending those negative vibrations those negative thoughts to you because they hate you because of envy and jealousy so if a lot of people we are in a, operating in a place and a lot of people don't like you they hate you you know they don't like you be sure that uh, they'll be unconsciously attacking you or even consciously attacking you any attack that is not physical is a spiritual attack saying negative things about somebody slander things that is not true but stabbing people but biting people spreading rumors about people spreading lies about people causing problems, making false reports, false testimonies, false statements, general stereotyping somebody, racist comments, racist remarks, all those are spiritual attacks. So any attack that is not physical is a spiritual attack. So you need to know that. So when you are living in a place that people don't like you, they are envious of you, envious of your success, your prosperity, be sure that you'll be getting negative attacks, spiritual attacks, vibrations will be coming in constantly. So for that situation, you need something to be sending it back to them because you are living your own life. You are not doing spell to hurt anybody. You just need to protect yourself. So you kind of need to defend yourself. What you need to do is simply get a simple mirror like this. Just mirror that this size is okay. Then uh, we use it to reflect back the vibrations, the negative energy, the negative thoughts, or whatever spell or hexes they are sending to your house, to you, we use it to reflect it back to them, okay? So it's as simple as that. You don't need to do anything. Just follow the procedures I'm going to be telling you in this video. We are not actually attacking anybody. We are just protecting our territory, protecting our house, our family, our life. So. If uh, you need to do this, even if you don't have any enemies, just put this in your house. You don't know what might happen. Okay. So what you will do is that you get a simple mirror like this, new mirror. It can be mirror you have been using before, but the main thing is that you wash it with salt water to purify it. Okay. You wash it with salt water. Then after you have done that, you we wait for the day of the waning moon. We have the stage of the moon called waning. That means uh, that is where the moon is half light and half dark. That is when you are going to do this spell. So you're going to check the moon circle on the internet and find the day the moon is going to be having a waning moon. Or you can monitor the moon every day. When you see that the moon is now having an hack, half dark, half part is dark, half part is light, that day you're going to bring your mirror outside of your home in the night time when the moon is visible very clearly visible so you will lay this mirror on the ground so that the 
mirror will be facing up and uh, the moon must be seen in the mirror you should be able to see the moon inside the face of the mirror okay the moon must be visible on this mirror you can see the moon inside so once you can do that you draw a circle around this mirror you draw a circle you put the mirror in the center of that circle then you are going to get insert sticks like this one I have now you're gonna get four insert sticks like this you will pin it at the four corners outside the circle okay you light it and pin it if you are living in a concrete jungle by that I mean a place whereby there is no sand the whole place is cemented some of us live in that kind of apartment you're, gonna, you're not going to see any sand it will be cemented very hard so you get the bar of soap they cut it into pieces this is a tiny soap so we use it for standing our insects maybe you want to light the insect inside the house you don't have a insect holder you just get a piece of soap cut it into tiny bits and just pin your insect so you get a soap bar you stand your insert on your you cut a big soap into four parts so you can pin your insert sticks on the soap so you put it at the four corners of the circle then you are going to start the right what you are going to say is that you're going to call the spirits of the moon to help you enchant your mirror okay we have some spirits that live in the moon or associated in the moon spirits like Ekate, Lilith, most of them are feminine deity, Onshun, uh, Heteru, Isis. So if you are venerating any of those female deities that are associated with the moon, for instance, if it is uh, Hathor, you say in the name of Hathor, I call upon the spirits, the benevolent spirits of the moon to empower this mirror, to enchant this mirror to protect me against the attacks of my enemies or to reflect back any negative attack or any spiritual attack that anybody is sending to me in the name of Ator, i call upon the elements of eternity from above and beyond for the from the world beyond i call upon the forces of light and darkness to empower this mirror to protect me from any evil force that want to disturb my peace or disturb my way of life. As the moon reflects the light of the sun, so shall this mirror reflect back any evil attack or any spiritual attack that anybody has sent to my life. Okay, you are going to say that uh, as the moon reflects light from the sun let this mirror reflect back every evil sent to me let it all return to sender any negative energy sent to me let it go back to the source exactly as it comes a hundred times fold so must it be so then you're going to let the insects burn to the ends then you time the spirits you have called to help you then you take your mirror if you don't venerate any spirit or you don't want to call the name of any spirit you can say our uh, spirits of the moon help me protect this mirror help me to empower this mirror so i can use it so it will serve me to destroy any negative energy or reflect back any negative energy that anybody has sent to me okay you say spirits of the moon Please empower this mirror with your essence. Empower this mirror to reflect back any evil attack, any spiritual attack that anybody has sent to me. So let this mirror be a power source to reflect back all negative energy from attacking my life. So must it be. So after you have done this, you take your mirror. By then, the insect would have been burnt out. You tie the spirits and you take your mirror so you are going to hang this mirror inside your house or outside your house but wherever you hang this mirror you will make sure that it is reflecting outside the house so you might want to put it in a place that is facing your window 
So as light is hitting it, the light is going outside the house. So you must put it facing the window. If uh, or you can put it facing your door. So you find it nail, you nail it in the place in that part of the house that will be facing outside, either facing the mirror, um, either facing the window or facing your door. So any light that hits it is going back. So any negative energy that comes into your house will be reflected outside your house. So that is the general idea. Okay. So that is how they use the mirror for return to sender. It's very easy, very simple process. Anybody can do this once again and from any part of the world. So you can get a mirror for that and get a new mirror, clean the mirror and power it with this right. And you hang it facing your door or facing your window. So that is just what you need to do, okay? So this is how you do the spell. Very simple, powerful spell. So I would like you guys to try it out and um, start using it to protect your house and return negative vibrations back to the sender. So this is what I have for you today. I hope that this is useful to someone. Like and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so you'll be the first to get my videos as soon as I send it out. And um, I'll be seeing you in the next video. So take care and bye.